today we will see another concept in computer graphics that is the 3d scaling okay so now let's see what are the topics that we are going to discuss in this 3d scaling video so first of all i'll explain what exactly the 3d transformation is and what are the different types of the 3d transformations and in that one of the type is a 3d scaling so we will see what exactly the 3d scaling is and some important points that we need to be remember while we are working on the 3d scaling that means when the object is going to increase its size and when the object is going to decrease the size and it remains a scale okay and the example we will see on example and finally one example problem we will take and we will work on that uh, to understand how the object is going to change its shape so first of all let's see what exactly the 3d transformation is you all know that the transformation is a technique is uh, changing its object a size or shape or the position okay so one thing you have to remember that a 3d transformation a transformation can be applied only on the existing object so if the object is there then only you can apply the transformation technique so and it is a way of modifying and changing the position of an object in computer graphics it can manipulate the uh, view of a 3d plane so if you consider the 3d object it is going to manipulate the view of a 3d object based on its original position so first thing is we have to take the original position so on that that is existing object exact position so based on that position only we are going to try and uh, try to change uh, the view of of an object so based on its original position by changing or modifying the physical attributes what are the exact coordinates or that okay of an object with the help of various methods of transformation like translation rotation scaling and shearing so if you see in the example this is a 3d object okay which is a square which is a three a cube a cube uh, is a 3d object so each is having the coordinates x y z plane coordinates are there so these coordinates you call it as a physical attributes these are the physical attributes so by changing the original position original position by changing or moving the physical attributes of an object with the help of various methods okay so now we were we are discussing the scaling actually the different types of transformations that are present are translation scaling rotation shearing and reflection so these are the different types of techniques that whatever the object that is existing that object uh, can be modified or change its position with the help of these techniques okay so these techniques can be applied on 2d objects as well as the 3d objects also we can apply on the 3d objects also so in this video we are going to discuss about the scaling factor the scaling transformation so scaling what exactly the scaling is a scaling is nothing but it is going uh, it is a method to change the size of an object whether the, if the size of an object is like this is a small size it's a 3d object okay so it is going to change the size of an object by increasing or decreasing or remains the same okay so this object the size of an object is going to be changed either in large size or it can be small size so it can it can also be used to increase or decrease the object size in scaling the object can be altered in any of the x y z direction through by using the scaling factors sx xy and xz these are the scaling factors on three directions because this is a 3d plane we are discussing on the 3d plane so if 3d plane is there then the three scaling factors will be occurred sx xy sz so let us consider a point that has to be scaled in a 3d plane one thing a scaling means the size of an object is whereas if you consider the translation translation means the position is going to be changed but in the scaling the size of an object is going to be increased or it going to be decreased okay so if you take the initial co coordinates of the object x0 y0 z0 so then uh, the scaling factor of on x axis is sx on y axis is sy and on z axis is sz so if you want to find out the new coordinates x1 y1 z1 i want to find out the new coordinates which are after scaling so it can be achieved by using x0 into sx y0 into sy and z0 into sz so the matrix representation of scaling coordinates is see here this x y z sx 0 0 0 sy 0 0 0 0 sz 0 0 0 0 1 so whereas sx sy sz are the scaling factors this is a matrix representation 
I already said the points that you, ha you have to remember while you are working on the scaling transformation is the scaling factor used to alter the object size. Right or wrong? It is going to alter the object size. It determines whether the size of an object has to be increased or it has to be decreased. Suppose if the scaling factor, whatever the scaling factor is there or either in x direction or y direction or z direction, whatever it may be, sx or sy or z, if it is greater than 1, suppose the scaling factor is greater than 1, the object is enlarged, means it is increased object is increased. Suppose if the scaling factor is less than 1, then the object size is reduced. That means the object size is decreased. These points you have to be remember that. If it is greater than 1 means it's a positive, it is going to be increased. If it is less than 1 means it is decreases. So see here in this example, so I'll consider the same example uh, how to get this 3D object before uh, before the scaling is given and after applying the scaling factors, how the object is going to change its uh, size, either it is increasing or decreasing. So this is the same example I'm taking. So here uh, a three co X, Y, Z coordinates are there. These coordinates are going to be increased and the size of an object is increasing. This is the original one. Okay, this is the uh, after scaling, after scaling. So here if you observe the coordinates, the coordinates are increased its sizes, increase its sizes. That means the scaling factor is greater than one. You will get the scaling factor. If the scaling factor is greater than one, then the object size is increased. Okay. So first of all, let's apply on one coordinate. Then uh, if you understand it clearly, then you can apply with the, all the coordinates. So I'm taking another example to work on this one coordinate. Consider point P549 and the scaling factors, they are given it as scaling factor of X is 2 and scaling factor of Y is 3 and scaling factor of Z is 5. So here all the scaling factors are greater than 1 means the object size is going to be increased. Means whatever the 5, 4, 9 is there, these coordinates are going to be increased. Now I'm, I'm getting greater than 5, greater than 4 and greater than 9 coordinates because all the scaling factors are greater than 1 only. Okay. So if you want to find the new coordinates, P dash is equal to P into T. Okay. So X, Y, Z, 1 is equal to sx 0 0 0 0 sy 0 0 0 0 sz 0 and 0 0 0 1 this is a homogeneous coordinate so now apply here sorry this is p and this is dead so p dash that is x dash y dash z dash is equal to p this is p x y z 1 and this is t okay so if you apply it what is x y z uh, 5, 4, 9, 1. So, scaling factor of SX 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5, 0 and 0, 0, 0, 1. If you multiply this, you will get 10, 12, 45, 1. So, P is 5, 4, 9 whereas P dash is 10, 12, 45. So, is the object size will increase or decrease? Obviously, increase because the coordinates are coordinates are increased inside. 5 becomes 10, 4 becomes 12 and 9 becomes 49. Okay. So, let's take the same example problem whatever we discussed just now we had seen the picture. This is the original image. Consider the cube O, A, B, C, D, F, G. The uh, real coordinates, the original coordinates are given as O, A, B, C, D. So, if you see in this diagram. And the scaling factors are given as 2, 3, 2. So obviously 2, 3, 2 means the object is going to be increased its size. Because all the scaling factors or the scaling factors are greater than 1. Sx is greater than 1, Sy is greater than 1 and Sz is greater than 1. So obviously the size is going to be increased. The size is going to be increased. So perform a scaling operation over the cube and find the new coordinates. So see here in this diagram. Let me explain you. So x dash, y dash, z. I'm going to find out the o dash, the new coordinate. So what is the o? O is 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. So if you apply the scaling factor here, you will get the new coordinates or o dash. And a is 0, 4, 0. Okay. 1. And if you multiply this, you will get a dash. And see here b. 
This is a B. Okay. You will get a B dash. So, you will get all the coordinates A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, G dashes. Okay. Apply on the 3D plane. So, this is an object. So, this object, whatever you get here, this is an increasing size. How you can say it is an increase in size? So, anyhow, the O dash, it's an origin. Because it is not changing its position, the size is going to be increased. Okay. So, the origins remains the same only. So, if you o, o is the 0, 0, 0 and as well as O dash is also 0, 0, 0 only. Because it is not changing its position. It is only increasing and decreasing the size. Okay. So, this is the A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. So, if you observe all the coordinate sides are increased. So, previously A is 0, 4, 0. Now, A dash is 0, 12, 0. B is 0, 4, 4 and the B dash is 0, 12, 8. Okay. Uh, C dash, E dash, uh, D dash and then this is E dash, F dash, Z dash. So, the object size is, is increased. So, this is about the 3D scaling. Okay. So, if you have any doubts, please let me know. Thank you.